Moving to developments in Syria now, where the president's accepted his cabinet's resignation. The move comes amid weeks of violent crackdowns on demonstrations calling for liberty reforms and despite a massive pro-president rally on Tuesday, a new government is expected to be in place on Wednesday, as well as the lifting of a controversial state of emergency that's been in effect for more than 50 years. There's been 11 days of fighting in the country with more than 150 people killed. While the president blames foreign sources, locals claim the government troops are behind the lethal violence. Syria's situation is raising fears that another foreign intervention could be possible, like that what is happening in Libya. Our correspondent, Natalia Novikova, is in the capital of Damascus for us. Well, here in the Syrian capital, thousands of people are out on the streets. They support the country's president. They're saying that what they want is uh, an evolution, not a revolution. They say they believe in the reforms that the country's president is promising to make, including changing the, the country's government. And that is something that he inherited from uh, the former president of the country, who was uh, his father. Um, they actually say here that uh, ever since he was appointed the country's president, he uh, wanted to make many reforms in the country but wasn't able to do so because of uh, the country's government and that's something that he's promising uh, to change. However, of course, uh, what's happening right now in the south of the country is slightly different as uh, the question remains whether the situation that we're witnessing here is the same that uh, we're witnessing uh, that's unfolding in Libya. Um, the U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton has said that the U.S. doesn't see the situation here similar to the one in Libya, but at the same time, uh, the Syrian authorities have already uh, deployed troops to the south of the country in order to stop the protesters, the anti-presidential protesters there. So the question remains whether uh, there's going to be another U.S.-led military campaign in Syria as we're witnessing uh, in Libya. However, locals here are saying that uh, uh, they believe that the situation in the south of the country is rather calm, much more calm than many uh, news agencies and news channels uh, are reporting. Uh, here in the Syrian capital, uh, for now, we need Bashar al-Assad for uh, We need to free with Bashar al-Assad. We can hear what they're saying. We need to free with Bashar al-Assad. Uh, we need to free with but uh, local authorities, of course, blaming the uprisings in All the south of the country uh, for, uh, for, for foreign forever. forces.